Dear student, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is top down parser. This is the sixth video on this topic, and in this video, I am going to explain the predictive parser. Now, let us start. A predictive top down parser or LL parser constructs a parse tree from the root to the leaves using a stack and look ahead tokens to manage the parsing process. First and follow set. So, when we are using the top down predictive parser, we require to first find out the first and follow set from a given grammar. So, first of x is nothing but the set of terminals that begin the strings derivable from non terminal x. And follow up x is nothing but the set of terminals that can appear immediately to the right of non terminal x in some sentential form. So, while solving the problem, I will explain how to calculate the first and follow from a given grammar procedure. Compute first and follow set. Determine the first and follow set for all non terminals in the grammar. Then next is the initialize the stack. Begin with the start symbol of the grammar on the stack because it is top down parser, so it starts with the start symbol of the grammar. Predict production. Use the top of the stack and the current input token to decide which production rule to be applied based on the first and follow set. Then next is important step that is match and expand. Pop the top of the stack if it's terminal, match it with the current input token. But if it's non terminal, push the corresponding production onto the stack. Recursive descent. Repeat until the stack is empty or an error is encountered. This is a procedure. Input is there, which is end by dollar. This is a stack. Initially, stack is empty. Here, we first from the grammar create the first and follow set, and from that we create the predictive parsing table. Predictive parser takes the input from the input string, and it will decide which rule to be applied, and based on predicting parsing table, and the push and pop operation from the stack will takes place. Now this is a simple grammar. This is very simple grammar for the first example I have taken and I have explained this grammar already in my previous videos. Now first we will calculate the first and follow set for a given grammar. Now see carefully. To calculate the S we require to check S is given NP which is not a terminal. So we will check what NP is giving. Now here NP is giving determiner as well as N. So we will check both. Determiner will be used the and A. Okay, we will get the uh, terminal. So the and A. And N is giving the cat and dog. So cat and dog is clear. Now we require to calculate the first of NP. First of NP again gives determiner and N and which are non terminal. So we will again follow the determiner. We will get the and A. And for now we are getting cat and dog. So in this way we calculate the first of NP. Now we require to calculate the first of VP. VP V which is again non terminal. We follow the V. We will get the chases and C's. So it is nothing but the first of VP. Next is the determiner. Now determiner directly giving the terminal. So no question though and A. Same for N and V. Therefore it is cat dog and chases and C's. So see the definition. When starting a derivation from a non terminal symbol in CFG, the set of all possible initial terminals is called the first set. Follow. In parsing with CFG, the follow set of non terminal symbol contains the terminals that can legally come after it in valid sentence. But if it is not coming, we require to take first either first or follow depending on the condition. Now we will see that condition. We will see the symbol on the right hand side. Now on the right hand side S is not present. So we are putting the dollar here. Now we require to check for the VP. Now see for the VP. VP is present here. But we can see that after VP there is a blank. So we are taking. So, so when after that symbol when any non terminal. When any terminal is not there and blank is there. We are taking the follow of S. So follow of S is nothing but dollar. So included here. Now we will check the NP. Now NP two cases are there. Here there is no any uh, any terminal or non terminal. So that is why we are taking the fall of VP. Fall of VP is dollar. So it comes here. Now here after NP again VP is there. So in case there is a, there is nothing term is present and here VP is present. So if term is present we are taking the first of VP. First of VP is nothing but chases and C's and that is why it comes under the fall of NP. Next is the follow of determiner. Now follow of determiner we see the right hand side. Determiner n is there. So we are taking the first of n. So first of n is nothing but the cat and dog. Now we require to take the follow of n. Now check the n. So after n nothing is present same here. 
so we are taking the follow of uh, np so follow of np is nothing but the changes cz and dollar and it come here now next is v for v np is there so we are taking the first of np first of np is the a cat and dog so in this way first and follow sets created now we require to create the predictive parsing table now see for s the a cat dog so the we require to check the first set so for s the a cat and dog is there so we'll write s is giving npvp under all these the a cat and dog next we will see that first of np first of np the a cat dog but if we see the rule of np it is giving determiner as well as it is giving the noun so when determiner is giving we are writing this rule and when it is giving this noun we are writing this group so under the the and a we are writing determiner n and determiner n and for cat and dog we are writing n n now for vp check changes and sees so that directly we write down v is giving the np because only one rule is there next is we will see determiner noun and verb so here they are the giving only non terminal so we will write directly determining giving the determining giving a n is giving cat n is giving dog v is giving chase and v is giving says so in this way first we required to complete the predictive parsing table so if this step is clear it is very easy for the next step <coughs> now we will see the next step next step is nothing but the parsing procedure now initially stack is empty we push the start symbol because it is top down parser now our statement dog word is there now we can see that dog coming for example our symbol is s and dog we are applying which rule s is giving npvp so we are expanding s is giving npvp now npvp dollar now np we will check which symbol is giving the dollar npn so we are expanding the symbol npn now np is n all are terminal so all terminal always push on to the stack now npvp now we will check n which n rule is giving the dog so n giving is dog now this rule is giving the terminal so here for simplicity i have not put but you can put but generally we are not pushing any terminal symbol onto the stack so n is now replaced with the dog and our input is also dog so matches so we are removing the n from the stack and even the it is cut from the input also now next is the chases the cat on the stack now vp is remaining now we require to check chases come uh, for vp for vp yes chases comes vp giving v np so vp giving v np now again v comes v we will check yes v is giving chases so here v is giving chases it is match with the terminal we pop the v then np now next word is the so we require to check which rule is giving of np the so it is nothing but determiner n so we are expanding that determiner n then determiner is giving the the so match terminal comes we will pop the determiner next is n and we will check which rule is giving the cat of n so n cat we expand after that cat match and after that again we at last only dollar that is tag is again empty so statement gets accepted so in this way the predictive parser is working now see the next example the cat says i am not explaining the example you just observe the statement how it is following so initially we push the start symbol then we will see the input what is that input the so we check which rule is giving the the symbol so s is giving npvp the same as we follow so i am not explaining this step you just observe the table and try to understand pause the video now we will see this example book that flight same example i have explained for the shift reduce parser so first we require to create the first and follow set for the non terminal now see the first set for determiner determiner is giving all that non terminal that this a the 
so that this are the for noun for verb and for ox we are getting the first set as it is now we will check for the np now for np we will check np is np 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 is giving determiner only one rule is there so only np is there np is giving determiner so determiner is giving this that this other so we will check that first of np that this the and a next we require to check nominal 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 is giving the noun noun is giving book flight meal man so book for light meal man next we require to check the vp vp is giving the verb and this vp is giving the verb np so verb that is nothing but book include and read now we require to check s so if we check the c the s s is giving the np auxiliary and vp so np we require to follow so for np we already calculated for vp we already calculated and for auxiliary it will comes only i guess does so this all includes in the s now we require to check the follow for follow we check right hand side on the right hand side s is not present dollar vp after vp nothing is there we are taking the follow of s which is nothing but dollar now check the np np vp is there and after that np vp is there and after np one minute vp is there so we are taking the uh, first of vp so first of vp one minute yes two rules are there that's why dollar is there i have to check see after this np vp is there so we uh, even here after np vp is there so we are taking the first of vp first of vp is book include read book include read but see the last verb and np here there is no so we are taking the follow of vp that's why dollar signal symbol comes here then check the nominal here we can see that nominal comes here after that there will be no so we are taking the here nominal but nominal is nothing but we require to take the only np so we are taking the follow of np so follow of np is nothing but book include read and dollar same come next is determiner so for determiner nominal is there so same whatever for the this it will comes for one minute i have to check determiner comes for how much time determiner so after determiner nominal is there so we are taking the first of nominal first of nominal is book flight meal and man book flight meal and man sorry i have to after determiner nominal is there therefore we require to take the first of nominal book flight meal man now i will check for the noun it has to check very uh, rigorously otherwise mistake can possible see after noun nominal is there and after noun nothing is there so what we require to do here we require to take the here now nominal is present so we require to take the first of nominal which is nothing but book flight meal man and here we can see nothing is there so we require to take the follow of nominal which is nothing but book include read and dollar so that all that words are coming next we will check for verb now for verb mm, nothing is present so we are taking the follow of vp which is nothing but dollar and after verb np is there so we are taking the first of np which is nothing but this that this the and a so in this way we are creating for auxiliary it is very easy because it is followed by np so we are taking all the np that is that this the and a so in this way we calculate the first and follow set and after that we require to create this table so this is the exercise for you people that how you are going to create the table from the first and follow so we require to check the first set what is coming and based on that we require to make a, a decision so for s three rules are there so whenever does is there we require to follow this whenever the verb is there we require to follow the svp and for other things we require to follow the different rule so we require to check how these rules are coming it may happen that some minor mistake may be from my side so you just check whether it is correct or not so in this way we are writing the rule and for that we require to check the first the 
first set because first set is very much important to take this actually auxiliary should be here only does but it is coming here so that's why i am saying that minor mistakes are there from my side also now book that flight so we require to check book so book is verb so vp so in the in this way you just check each and every step you require to do the steps so the way of shift reduce parser and the predictive parser is same so in shift reduce parser we are doing only two operation either shift or reduce but here we require to check which rule is to be appropriate and based on that we require to take that rule from the predictive parsing table next is the the man read this book this is again one exercise for you because it is very difficult to explain from the slides but once you know the procedure that's why i have taken the first example is a simple example because rules are small predictable is small but if you want to apply for the nlp natural language processing actual application the procedure is same here we are taking the action based on the proper that is which is to be matching so the is word is coming so we are taking npvp npvp is determine nominal then determining the match then man will come so in this way we are taking that particular np phrase then read is take comes under the vb section so you just try the example advantages deterministic parsing clear decision making using the look ahead tokens simple error detections error can be detected as soon as they occur disadvantage only works with ll1 grammar which can be restrictive that is which will be left derivation can be complex to compute the first and follow set for the large grammars so these are the advantage and disadvantage these are the references for slide presentation thank you